Hi everyone and welcome to my very first floss tube. My name is Kimberly and starting a floss tube is something that I've really wanted to do since about December but nerves have continued to get the better of me. So hopefully today I can get this filmed and possibly edited and then uploaded. Um, so today is February 3rd of 2023 and I thought I would tell you a little bit about me, why I wanted to start a floss tube, and then show you um, my finished projects for January and the one I have for February, show you my whips, and talk about my plans, and maybe show you haul, but it's not really that exciting haul. Um, so yeah, my name's Kimberly. Um, my Instagram handle is that one stitcher 171, and the 171 is numerical numbers. So if you want to follow me over there, that's awesome. Um, I am really looking to connect more with the cross stitching and the floss tube community. Um, I live here in central Texas with my husband and our four children. Um, our three older kids are in school. Our youngest will start school in August and I'm not ready for that. Um, but I started stitching in 2017, right after our first daughter was born. Um, and my husband and I have been married since 2014. Um, we have a dog named Scarlett. She's a lab hound mix. Um, yeah, so we live um, in Texas where it's very cold at the moment. Um, and I'm not enjoying that. Um, our kids were actually home from school three days this week um, because school was canceled two of those days one was a two-hour delay and we just chose to keep them home that day um so they're in school um my youngest is somewhere in the living room playing um now if you see me looking down I do have notes um and if you see me looking over um, I'm sitting in front of my bedroom window hopefully that gives us good lighting gives great distractions. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to try. Um, I tried to take everything out of um, the project bags so that there was no zipping and no crinkling of things. Um, but yeah, I started stitching back in 2017. I needed a hobby that was not changing diapers. Um, and so we went to the store and I picked out a kit um, I actually have my first ever project. I thought it would be really fun to show you. Um, I'll even show you the back. <laughs> I'm not scared. Um, I actually thought I was buying an embroidery project, but it was cross stitch, and I'm okay with that because here we are. <laughs> anyway, so here's my first ever cross stitch. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It hangs in our living room. I mean, why wouldn't it? Also, boom, there's the back. Isn't that, oh, look at that mess. It's beautiful. I love it. No shame. <laughs> um, I will, I, I would, my backs have gotten a little bit better. A little bit. Um, but yeah, so there you go. There's my, <laughs> my first ever. If I hold it like this, can I get, use this as a screen grab? <laughs> um, so yeah, um, hopefully you like the video, and if you do, you'll subscribe, and I'll make more. Um, so my first finish, nothing has been FFO'd, so nothing's fully finished. Um, this was my first ever um, Mill Hill kit, Autumn Harvest. It's the Eyeball Martini. Now, to be fair, I stitched all of the stitches and did all of the beads back in November and December around that. Um, I just hadn't attached the little treasure, which is the spider's body, this guy, um, until January. I, 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 yeah, I just didn't get around to it till January. I actually had to go to my local LNS and um, I took it with me and asked them if somebody could teach me how to um, attach that. I, there was a lady 
who actually taught me how to stitch on perforated paper because I had never done it before. So I'm really thankful for the two women who helped me learn that and enabled me to purchase more. <laughs> um, so I used all the called for items from the kit. Um, and then the next piece that I worked on, I was a test stitcher for um, Penny at Sage Butterfly Designs. And um, so this is stitched on, here's the picture, it's called Geometric Botanical. Um, so you have Sage Butterfly Designs, and it's a cross of black work and cross stitch. And I stitched this all on 14 count using the, um, sorry, dog hair, the um, called for DMC floss for that. So, I really enjoyed this piece. Um, Penny's patterns are so easy to read, and I really love these flowers here in the middle. Um, they were a lot of fun. Then, the next piece I worked on was another test piece, test stitch piece, um, for two little kids. Kits, K-I-T-S, um, and it's called Wild Places, and I stitched this on 14 count, Ada, and I used all of the DMC called for, and I love the little speech bubble, so it's crikey. Um, then the next piece that I worked on and finished, well, I was working on multiples at once, but is um, my very first ink circles. Here comes treble and I used the DMC. Can you see, can you see that right, right here? This is DMC-ish. So I used the DMC-ish conversion um, and I stitched this for, all, for our oldest for his birthday. There's that. And I stitched that on um, 18 count oatmeal um, Ada from Hobby Lobby. And you'll see a recurring theme. Um, everything stitched on Ada because that's what I stitch on. And the next piece came out of this uh, 50 cross stitch quickies, uh, Flowers and Fun. And it's called Unicorn Dreams. And I stitched this for our youngest for her birthday. Um, the oldest and the youngest, both but both of their birthdays are in February, and the other two, their birthdays are in December. So, but here is Unicorn Dreams, and I used um, 14 count light blue Ada, and all of the DMC called for, um, called for floss, and and look, see, my backs, my backs have gotten better. I'm gonna do a quick comparison. <laughs> um and then the next piece that I worked on is for um Colorado cross stitchers winter camp winter cross stitch camp it's my first time doing cross stitch camp and I'm super excited actually so this set and I did that on 18 count oatmeal Ada and I used all of the call for DMC I did give him an extra French knot in his mouth. Cross stitch counting is hard. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to be participating in that. And then the next piece that I have is um, a Valentine stitch along from uh, Cherry Hill Stitchery. Um, I've made, I'm made of. <laughs> I pulled my own colors, um, and I used DMC 16, 26, 7, 99, and 8, 92, and that's stitched on 14 count black Ada, and this, this one, and this one were free, and the next one I'll show you were, are, um, were free patterns, um, so if you join the Cherry Hill Stitchery Facebook um, group, you can still join the stitch along. 
So come join us. Let's have fun. Um, and then this one is a start. Those were my January. This is my February. And this is a start and finish for me. I did this yesterday. Um, it's Love You from Erin Elizabeth Designs, which was a freebie on her Instagram. And I did this on 14 count navy using the called 4DMC. And this was actually a um, a birthday stitch along for Athena X Stitches on Instagram. And the hashtag for that is hashtag love baby snake sal. So those are all of my finishes. Um, I'm gonna turn my notes over and talk about my whips. I also, to backtrack a little bit, I have no idea how I'm gonna finish most of these, especially the um, the two Valentine ones and the Camp Badge. I've seen, um, I can't remember, I've seen a couple of people um, who actually stitched these and then sew them onto their project bags. And I love that idea, except my project bags are the um, plastic mesh. So I don't think that would work very well. Um, but yeah, so I've got to figure out how I'm going to finish those. Um, and then the one for my daughter and my son will probably get framed in just a hoop. And Geometric Botanical will probably be put in a frame. And then... Um, wild places will probably either go in a frame or in a hoop but those are those are that's that uh i'm not sure how i'm gonna finish the um eyeball martini because i've never fully finished anything on perforated paper before probably will ask the lns ladies for some tips and advice on that um but i'll go ahead and go into my whips um Following in with birthday sales, um, Lynn X Stitches Creates was having a birthday sale, and the hashtag for that is hashtag Lynn's Dragon Birthday Sale, and this is um, Holiday Dragon 2022 by Ingleside Imaginarium. This was a free pattern. I don't remember where I got the pattern from. If I can remember, or not remember, but if I can find it again, I'll link it so that anyone can um I also don't have um the picture like the cover picture of what it's supposed to look like the mock-up um so if I can figure out at the end I'll post a picture of what it's supposed to look like but this is on 18 count Ada that I coffee dyed and I'm using the um DMC called four colors um the next one is the one I'm doing for my um, winter costage uh, camp. And it is called Nerdy Love Funny Valentine by Nerdly Knits on Etsy. And I'm stitching that on 18 count white Ada using the called for colors. Um, and it's continuing my Star Wars collection. Um, the next, oh, and the hashtags for winter camp, if you don't know, is, um, hashtag winter cross stitch camp and hashtag Colorado cross stitcher. My next whip is, um, an American Badger by La Selva Designs on Etsy, and I'm stitching this on 14 count, um, Ada, I don't know the name of it it was a scrap um and I'm using the called for floss again I don't have the cover photo if I can figure out how to insert it I absolutely will and then my last whip certainly not the least um I've been working on this since October I keep getting distracted by other things um but it is Satsuma Street's Halloween cat so that's what it's gonna look like I don't know the name of the fabric. It is 16 count Ada. My husband went into our LNS and told the ladies what I was stitching. 
and they picked the fabric and I did not think to save the little paper that had the name of it. But it is 16 count Ada. And that's where I'm at. So you can see I've got a ways to go. I've got, um, I still need to do the fill in the tree here and finish filling in this tree. The cat's body, there's the little swoopies over here. Um, and a tree, a kitten, and a pumpkin. I'll get it done. My plan was to have it done for Halloween last year. We clearly did not get there. I will get there. It will be done before Halloween this year. Um, so yeah, those are my whips. Now, um, I can tell you about my plans. If you don't know, um, Helen D and Carla from Cobweb Corner are doing a, sorry, doing a stitch along with, um, October House, um, Strawberry Fair, and I'm joining that. Um, I'm going to be using all of the DMC, except for I will use um, Classic Color Works Brown Hen, and that will be my first time stitching with Fancy Floss. Um, I'm really excited about this. I don't have fabric for it yet, um, so if anybody has any suggestions, um, it'll probably be on Ada, because <laughs> that's what I know how to stitch on. Um, but I'm really excited to join in on that. So, uh, if you don't know about that and you want to join in, go check out Helen D here on Floss Tube. Um, she has a whole video about Strawberry Fair, um, being a stitch along. My other plans, um, I have this Lizzie Kate Mother's. I'm not sure if I'm going to stitch this. Um, I do have the buttons and it's cute, but I'm, I don't know. I definitely want to stitch these little hearts. I don't know if you can see them very well. I'm sorry for the glare and the crinkles. Um, so I want to stitch those and I have the heart and hand blackouts. So this is winter. <laughs> it's so cute. I love the little paint ones. Um, so I want to stitch that and the cellmates thistle. And then, um, nope, there it is. And this leisure arts special days for special people or special days, special people. Um, so there's uh, two here I want to stitch. Um, this one right here says to my valentine and then this guy down here it's cupid throwing hearts out of the basket and says gotcha i want to stitch those um those are all of my stitching plans that i have right now um i do have like personal plans i really want to learn how to stitch on linen and even weave. I also want to learn if those are two different things. Um, I have this Bent Creek, the Candy Corn of Mischief kit. I'm obsessed with candy corn, like very obsessed with it. Um, so there's that. But it came with the fabric and the floss and I've never stitched with this and I've never stitched on this. So the plan is, um, one day when the three older kids are in school and the youngest is having a dad day, I'm going to go up to the LNS for a couple hours. And the owner has very graciously agreed to teach me how to stitch on that. So that'll be really fun. And then I have these two packages a 28 count even weave. Um, and I have it's a pink and a purple. And I want to learn how to stitch on those. Um, I've had them for a couple of years and haven't learned how to stitch on them. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, those are my plans, my whips, my finished projects. Um, I'll show you my haul that I've gotten, um, 
this month, three days in, and um, some stuff that I purchased in January. Um, so first thing, so I got a skein, 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 thingamabobber. <laughs> Habit of 801 DMC. I sorry for the reaching. Got um, two three inch Q snap extenders to go with my Q snap that I also recently purchased. And um, some floss away bags. These are new to me. I've always used um, the plastic bins that we all know, um, you know, I write the name of my whip and there it is. Um, they don't fit in my project bags. So the floss away bags do, um, but I don't know the best way to store them. I haven't figured that out. Um, so in my project bags, they're on a little, they're on a little clip. And, um, I haven't, I haven't written the number on the bags. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll just get some, like, painter's tape because the plan is to use them in my projects. And then until I figure out if I enjoy them, um, then I'll just take the floss bobbins and put them back in my plastic storage bins that I have in my filing cabinet. But I even put a, a bag in there for my orts because I keep my orts in my little, <laughs> my little skippy peanut butter bear. Um, and then the other thing for haul is I, I got some 14 and 18 count Hobby Lobby fabric. And um, hold on one moment. I am so sorry about that. Uh, the youngest decided she needed more noodles. Um, so yeah, that's my haul, my whips, my finished projects, and my plans. Um, I do have a question for all you more seasoned stitchers. Floss away bags are new to me. How do you store them when they're not in a project bag? Do you just keep them? How do you, how do you store them? Do you even use them? Am I so late to the game that no one else uses these anymore? Let me know. Because um, I'm trying to figure out the best the best method for myself. And um, I've learned that for me to figure that out is to experiment with other people's advice. So, anyways. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um... I, like I said earlier, I'll try to figure out how to put the pictures of the mock-ups of the whips in. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And it wasn't too long or too much of me rambling. Um, because this is my first video, um, I would love some feedback if you have any that is not mean. That's, let's not be mean. Please don't make me cry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, so that's about it. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And if you're somewhere where it's cold, you stay warm. And if you're somewhere where it's warm, send some heat back to Texas, please. <laughs> Have a great day, weekend and well, day too. But happy stitching, everyone.